This is how to use edge sprites to contain your game or your program on the screen, how to make them bounce off the edges, and how to make something happen when they bounce off the edges. As you can see here, every time it bounces against the right side of the screen, you get a new image. So let's jump right in. You'll start on code.org uh, by clicking Create in Game Lab. That's where you see me now, and you'll just start with an empty project. Under Sprites, you grab this bar sprite, then you want to have a draw loop, and you want to draw it on the screen. Okay, he's drawn on the screen. Now let's add a background inside the loop, and we want him to move around, so let's give him a velocity x. And let's put that above the loop. And we'll just start with a velocity of 5. Okay, so now he's moving. Now the next thing we want is for there to be something for him to bounce off of. So under sprites, there's a line of code that I don't think is ever taught that is create edge sprites. And let's just take a peek at the C examples here. And what you'll notice is whenever you use create sprites, it's going to make uh, something called a top edge, a left edge, a right edge, and not shown here is the uh, bottom edge. Don't see that one on here anywhere. So let's go ahead and make uh, create edge sprites right here. You won't see any difference. Everything looks the same. But then we can use this bounce off and just say edges. And so now it can bounce all over. Now that he's moving around, we can give him a Y velocity so he moves up and down as well. And just so we don't have the same program every time, let's set both of these velocities to a, a random number. And I'm going to go negative 10 to 10. Okay, so that's, that's working pretty well. The next thing I'd like to do is grab some pictures so I'm not just using a gray box. And uh, there's a little scribble I did earlier. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and I'm kind of feeling like vehicles this time. So I'm going to add just one here, and then instead of adding another one here, I'm going to add lots of them here in the frames, which if, if you're in a lesson you may not see, but if you're in the projects tab you will. So let's go ahead and add more vehicles. And what I just noticed when you're doing frames is when you add, um, you, it doesn't automatically close this for you, so you can keep adding more, and you can see them popping up over here. And I'm just grabbing a bunch of them. That was really cool. All right, that's enough. So you can see I've got a bunch of them in here. And if I go ahead and set animation on my sprite here to that, I've only got one, but all these different vehicles are inside of that one, that it will cycle through them automatically. All right, so they're kind of big and they're moving too fast. I'm going to work on both of those things. So first I'm going to scale them down to maybe 0.25. All right, now they're small enough that I can see them bouncing around again. The next thing I want to do is I want to control when they're switching pictures. So the first thing I'll do is pause pause the frames. So I'm going to come down here to sprite.pause, and that can go outside of the draw loop. So now it'll stay on the first one that I chose. Maybe a little bit bigger would be okay. Four. Yeah, that looks better. And then I'm going to use this next frame to control width. So I'm going to make it where it only changes images whenever it bounces on the right side of the screen. So the first thing I have to do is I have to know that bounce off actually doesn't allow things to touch. So when I'm bouncing off the edges, I'm switching velocities right before I touch. That is fine if you're just wanting to bounce around the screen, but if I'm wanting to control with an is touching block, that's not going to work. So because we're going to treat the right edge differently than the other edge, we're going to take this edges off and just say uh, top edge. I did that wrong. Capital E in the middle. And now let's copy this guy and do the same thing for the bottom edge and left edge. And now the right edge is going to get the special treatment, and it's going to have an if. But we're going to say, if the sprite is touching the right edge. 
So I'm going to grab it as touching. And if they're touching, I still want them to bounce off. So I'm going to grab one of those. That doesn't really change anything. But what is going to change is I'm going to put a sprite next frame. So that every time it touches the right edge, first it's going to change pictures uh, in here. It's going to change to the next one of these in the list. And then it's going to bounce off. So that's why the right edge is different right here in the F. Okay, let's try it out. Kind of slow. I think that's my lagging computer. There we go. Alright, I think it's working.